Hey guys, this is Nikki. I'm an elite six star Diamond Beach body coach, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what you should do the first week that you're a beach body coach. So, I know the first week can be super overwhelming and a little bit scary, right? So, there's so much information out there everywhere you go about beach body coaching and what coaches do, and everything from Googling images to YouTubing thousands upon thousands of videos um, and just the information that you'll see in your team page. It seems like you're drowning in information. And I want you to know that that is completely normal, and every single coach feels like that whenever they get started. So first off, you need to set your expectations that it's going to take you a good three months to wrap your head around what's really going on. So don't think that just because you're not sure of all of the acronyms that are being used and you don't know where all of the sites are that you're a failure, because that's not the case. It's just like learning any new job, right? So the first day at any new office, you don't know where the bathroom is, and you don't know where the office supplies are, and you don't know how to dial uh, to an outside line. You have to learn. So give yourself that opportunity to actually just kind of figure out and get your feet under uh, underneath you before you start to get really hard on yourself, because everyone experiences this. And just know that in the end, it's a really awesome thing that there's that much information out there, because once you are established and rolling, you don't have to go very far to try and find a wealth of information from a bunch of top coaches who are just happy to put the information out there to help you become more successful. It is more of a blessing uh, than anything. But there's a couple things that you should do the first week just to try and keep you focused uh, so that you're not like running all around like chasing your tail. So the first thing in order of importance is to watch the, so you just started um, with Girl Strong, watch this video first. That video is going to show you how to get into your back office, what to check in there, how to set up your direct deposit, uh, vital things that you'll need to be able to find in the team page, and things that are going to make your life a lot easier, like how to search the team page. So that Welcome to Girl Strong, watch this first video that I sent you in your Welcome to Beachbody coaching email uh, is vital, and you have to watch that first. You can also find it on my YouTube channel if you just Google me, and then Welcome to Girl Strong, watch this first. Second thing to do is to contact me or contact your sponsor coach, right? So at the end of that welcome email, it said do all of these tasks and then schedule a call. We need to get your getting started right call done. That's when we're going to be able to talk, talk about your goals, about what you want to do with this business, where you envision yourself in the future so myself or your sponsor coach can help you get there, right? So we can't help you until we know what you need. Uh, and that one-on-one -on -one call when we actually get to talk to each other, we can give so much information and be able to break it down for you rather than you, you know, searching a bunch of media outlets and trying to figure it out for yourself. So it's so important to get on your sponsor coach's uh, calendar for that getting started right call ASAP. Number three, as soon as you become a coach, you need to be a product of the products. So you don't have to be done with your transformation. And actually, it's really awesome because people who are going through transformations are even like more attractive, right? Because there's so many people out there that have transformations to go to. So it makes you even more relatable to people. But you have to be talking about them, right? And how the products are changing your life. Um, and what you're like, so for me, it's very simple to be like the 21 day fix allowed me to take off all of the baby weight uh, that I had been holding on to for about nine months and still uh, blaming the baby. So I became a coach because I believe this is a gold mine, and if I could do this as a working mom uh, with three kids who was commuting an hour to and from work every single day and having these incredible results, then anyone can do this. So that was my why. That was my why I became a coach. Uh, I wanted everyone to feel as good as I did in my own skin, and I thought everybody is everyone out there should have health and happiness. So talk about the products, right? So like that was that was Shakeology changing me. Um, I never had an eczema outbreak. I had awful eczema on my hands and 
no more since I've had Shakeology. So you need to talk about the product, show their value to people because they're valuable to you. There's a reason that you invest in them every single month because they do something for you that you can't get somewhere else. So you have to be, um, you have to be out there talking about them. So as soon as you're talking about them on your media, um, you can just like write, you know, if you want to hear, if you want more information, message me about my next like upcoming fitness accountability group or, you know, just message me to talk. Like it's just the best way to start getting in touch with everybody who's out there. So fourth, I want you to do your power of threes tracker and have another video about that if you haven't seen it. But the power of threes is vital. It is what's going to make you go out and start talking to people. And if you're not talking to people and inviting people to join your fitness accountability groups and coaching sneak peeks and clean eating groups and free water challenges, any group out there that, that you have, this business doesn't work. You have to always be talking to people. So you have to do the power of threes and you have to get in that habit really early so that it just it's automatic for you. It's the first thing that you do whenever you set out to do beach body work and that way you'll just continue to do it uh, all throughout your career as a coach. Um, fifth, got to get in the habit of posting three to five times a day on your social media. And this is just you just sharing your life uh, as a coach with all of your friends. Um, like for me, it's all my friends on Facebook because that's my primary social media outlet. So I'll share, you know, recipes or I'll share my workout that did my workout that day. And it's so important to just be real with people, right? So no one relates to perfect. Everyone relates to flaws because we all have them. That's what makes us human. So it's it's so easy to just get up and be like, oh, I didn't feel like working out today, but I did it anyway because I know that what I do on a daily basis is what's going to define my success. And then there's someone who's scrolling through the news, the news feed who sees that and might get inspired by it and then they start to watch you. But if you're not talking about it on your social media and your experience with it, how you're living it, then no one's ever going to know that you're there or that they can come to you for help. They should be able to look at your Facebook page and scroll through within one scroll and know that you're a coach, that you have opportunities for them to join a fitness accountability group, that they can become a coach too, and that you're a product of the products. We only get one to two scrolls. That's how fast social media works, right? So you want to make sure all of that information is available to them uh, straight up front. And whatever you do, don't use stock imagery that Beachbody uses. That is what is salesy. I know everyone gets worried about being salesy or pushy. What salesy is you using the stock imagery. It is not salesy when you talk about your experience with Shakeology and it's you holding your Shakeology and talking about what it's done for you and for your body and for your fitness and for your health. That is not salesy. That is just you sharing your life right? And in those posts, not every single post that you put up every day has to be about Beachbody. Sometimes it's just about your family or something that you find funny. That's how people relate to you. They want to see you and get to know you, the face that's behind it, not just every single time that they, that they see you. It's a bombardment of information about that. That doesn't really make you uh, a relatable person. They want to see the person they'll be joining and get to know you and understand you. So put that out there. Number six, so important, personal development, right? So this is what some people refer to as self-help. It is absolutely vital. Um, it is time for that stigma around it to come down. I do it every single day. It needs to get done every single day. 10 minutes a day. This can be in between the cracks time, right? So this is just, if you have to run out to the store real quick, you can have a podcast downloaded and listen to it there. Um, listening to a replay of a team call, uh, getting in, in some personal development. There's a ton of books on audiobooks. If you need somewhere to start, I highly recommend uh, The Slight Edge and The Compound Effect. Both of them were life-changing uh, books to me. Uh, I would definitely recommend that you start there. But you need to build uh, mental armor um, just for yourself as a person, just in life. It doesn't have, I mean, it has a lot to do with beach body coaching, but just as a person, doing personal development is going to help you be a better friend, a better mom, a better about everything. So it is so vital to do it. And when people start to, to fail, it's usually because they stopped working on themselves, right? So if what we do is help others and fill others' cups, we have to make sure that our cup is filled first so that we have something to give. So PD every day, 10 minutes a day. Uh, seven, 
plug in. Oh, have to. Okay, so you're in your team page now. You're in Girl Strong or in your Upline Sponsors page. You need to get in that page and start interacting, okay? There's a million new coaches in there. Not everybody in there knows what's happening, right? Like, there's so many people that are just like you in there, okay? So don't walk in and think that everyone knows everything and you're the only one who doesn't. That's just not the case. You need to start interacting with people and start talking and start asking questions and start figuring out uh, where to get information from. You're, there's two save the dates, right? So team call night, whenever the team call happens for Girl Strong, it's Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock. You need to be on that call unless you're at work or there's another type of circumstance that prevents you from being there. Listening to a recording is okay, but it is not the same as being on a team call. That is you being there, showing up, and putting skin in the game for your business, right? So when I started as a coach, I was still working and my husband and I got up at 4.45 in the morning uh, to work out and the calls were at 9 o'clock at night, but I still got on the call and I sacrificed that hour of sleep uh, to work on my business, to propel it forward so I could help more people and it was absolutely worth it. So everything requires sacrifice, like the law of sacrifice, it's actually like you have to give up something of lesser value to attain something of greater value. So you have to be there, you have to plug in and be present, be present on the page, be present in any training groups that you're in. If the upline coaches are asking you to comment or like do it you have to do it and put the skin in the game it's going to help you reach your goals and what you want right those upline coaches are doing things to help you achieve the success that you want and the second thing you have to plug into is the national wake-up call and those are Mondays at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time uh, you'll see in Girl Strong will always put up the notification uh, for the call-in number for the national wake-up call and that is so important those are the top coaches in the network sharing with you how they became top coaches I mean it's literally uh, the top coaches giving you the keys to the castle and everything that you need to succeed so you must 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 be present on the team page, um, on the team call, and the national wake-up call. And then the last thing that you'll want to do the first week is set a date for your next challenge group, for your first challenge group, and commit to getting three to five people into that first challenge group that you're going to help right? So the three to five people is the basis for you starting as a coach. What that's going to do is it's actually going to push you into success club, which is what we use to measure the success of our business. And if we want to be growing and expanding, success club is a non-negotiable every single month. And you can get there by helping three to five people every single month. So that's why it exists. So that is your goal for your first challenge group. Three to five people that you're going to help with the challenge pack, with the sale bundle, uh, Shakeology, plus a workout program. Come into your group. You can run it with your sponsor coach um, the first time that you run it. That way you're not you know, by yourself and completely out there uh, on an island. And then when you feel comfortable, you can break off and just start running your own groups. So those are really the eight things that I would focus on the first week. And don't get distracted by anything else. So just know that if you keep that to-do list and you keep yourself focused um, and stay away from the Facebook news feed, <laughs> that you will be absolutely fine and within three months, Everything that you have to do is kind of like reading the back of your hand. It actually comes very naturally, um, and then from there you just expand onward and upward. So those are just my tips for getting started in the first week. I hope that helped you guys out, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment.